Hi viewers, welcome back. Uh, yes, today is 21st April 23 and we are into the quarterfinals of Stuttgart Open 2023. Yes, viewers, Paula Bedosa will be facing off Ariana Sabalenka in the quarterfinals of uh, Stuttgart Open 2023. In this video, I'll tell you about their head to head encounter, their character profile, and prediction for the upcoming game. If you like this video, do subscribe, post comments, thanks for watching. Yes, viewers, this is the comparison between these two players. Both the players have played uh, three matches against each other. Two won by Paula Bdosa, one by Ariana Sabalenka. So, this shows that uh, Paula Bdosa must have a psychological advantage over Sabalenka of winning the upcoming match. But uh, this doesn't show the complete picture and prediction for this uh, game. Uh, we'll look into details of that. This single, three single titles to Bdosa and 12 titles to Sabalenka. Now, this is really a great difference between these two players. No double title to Bedosa, six double titles to Sabalenka. Win losses and singles, that's extremely important in predicting the game. 315 wins, 177 losses to Bedosa in singles, while 325 wins and 163 uh, losses to Sabalenka in singles. Uh, again, you can see that Sabalenka is a better average winning strike rate in terms of winning uh, in comparison to Paula Bedosa in singles. Win losses and doubles, 17 wins, 12, 22 losses to Bedosa in doubles while Sabalenka has 90 wins and 67 losses and doubles. Yes, viewers, career, career highest rank achieved by Badosa is 2, while that of Sabalenka is uh, again 2. Uh, current uh, rank of Badosa is 31, while that of Sabalenka is 2. So this shows uh, her current season form, current form, and this clearly depicts Sabalenka as a better rank. She's more competitive, and she is in a good form to win the upcoming match and tournament also. Both are young players, Badosa 25, Sabalenka 24. Badosa is USA player, while Sabalenka is Belarus player. Both players right handed and quite tall, 5 feet 11 inches in height. Year to date record, that's very important, viewers. That shows the air. current form. Zero uh, title to Badosa, two titles to Sabalenka, no title to both the players. Win losses in singles in current year, again, nine wins, five losses to Badosa, 20 wins, and three losses to Sabalenka in uh, uh, singles. Uh, single matches current year. Win losses in doubles, 0 win, 2 losses to Badosa in doubles, while 3 wins and 1 loss to Sabalenka in current year. So again, as I have told you that uh, of late and in current season, Sabalenka is quite stronger. Win losses in singles, 20 wins against 9 wins of Badosa. She has a better current rank 2 against uh, 31 rank of Badosa. And again, win losses in singles, Sabalenka is a better average in comparison to Paula Badosa. She has quite more titles, 12 titles uh, Sabalenka has against uh, three titles of Badosa. So this uh, all clearly shows that uh, Sabalenka is more likely to be the winner for upcoming match, but the player who will play better will be the winner. Do subscribe, post comments, thanks for watching, and post comments in comment section. I'll be obliged.